Um, yes. All right, John Saltis, uh, this this quarantine cocktails that we've been doing with you since Monday has been so much fun. And we have kind of been looping in the Zephyr Club every night because as we all no, and if you didn't, well, I'm sorry to say it's now rubble on the southeast corner of Third South and West Temple, the the Temple of the Zephyr. So, so John, Billy Palmer has joined us especially today because of our our uh, mixologists on the show, right, Billy? Yeah, well, yeah, um, you know they're West Siders, and the Cardenas family has uh, been around for the West Side and is a big supporter of all things West Side and. Uh, Mr. Coker and I have become really good friends and he's kind of my dad mentor <laughs> and uh, coach sometimes. Yeah. It's really nice to have them on the show for sure. Bill Coker and Lucy Cardenas from Red Iguana. I'm sorry. I just yeah. had to, I had to applaud John Saltis. I just had to. Well, you know, uh, among the oldest friends that city weekly had in the restaurant category was Red Iguana. Uh, Lucy and, and Billy can tell you where exactly it was, but I thought there was a, a location, a family owned location on state street or something at one time. And I don't remember what West third or something West before you guys moved over to North temple. And, and I, that's where I met Ramon at the West temple or third West location. And then over there, but I, Lucy knows, Bill knows Ramon was a dear, 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 dear times five friend of mine. And it, it's, it's, um, the red iguana to carry on that legacy of the father and the mother, all the stuff that you guys do and Ramon especially. Uh, I just am always enamored of everything red iguana does. Well, Lucy Cardenas, Bill Coker, red iguana, welcome. We mentioned the name Ramon, and for folks that don't know Ramon, he's uh, your late brother. And I used to see him at the Zephyr all the time as for Atomic Deluxe, the the band that that he'd come and see. And he's like, "You're gonna play my daughter's quinceanera," and that never <laughs> happened, but uh, it was always a dream. <laughs> <laughs> so how's red iguana doing ah well we're we're closed we're closed red iguana taste of red iguana and uh, red iguana 2 are all currently closed mm -hmm. what happened well when they gave the order for um you know to no more you know table dining we immediately stopped that but we uh we tried doing a well we did for three weeks we operated a a, a, a curbside pickup for out of Red Iguana 2 and it was working beautifully. And uh, we, we had some hiccups. It was like starting a new business um, and we were scrambling. And, and so unfortunately um, about a week ago, an, a dear employee, a, very, a, a, a star employee uh, tested uh, positive for um, COVID. He hadn't worked for a week because he hadn't been feeling well. And so then we just decided that we needed to take a, a break and all of our employees had to, we were working with a very small group of employees. We went from 211 employees to about 50 that are working about three or four shifts a week. That's what we're doing. We're kind of spreading it out a little bit and everybody was excited and they were grateful and about working and they were, they were really supportive of everything we were doing. But then we thought, let's close it down and let's sanitize this joint and let's reorg and let's think about what we're doing and how we can work safer and 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 but yet provide some great food you know it's it's tough not having any revenue come in you know so when do you anticipate reopening hopefully the week of the 20th for curbside uh, yeah for curbside but into it into the week we're going to start getting we'll start cooking on the 20th and probably on the 22nd we'll start we'll provide at, again at red iguana 2 red iguana 2 it's easier for us to do the social, the Distance. social distancing in the in the facility, um, and we knew that we could get the cars off the street yeah. and um, service them faster. And um, we had the dining room right there that we could use to stage all the to go food and everything that we were packaging. So it was decided that we would run the operation out of there. And it's Red Iguana One is like working in a submarine. I mean, it's <laughs> the guys are bumping elbows all the time, you know. It's oh, a, but that's the wonderful charm of that of the, know, of it's the like original from in there. You know, it's like they get it's excited. It looks like it looks like professional wrestling going on. So, so it, we 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 did, and then at number two we have two sides to the kitchen so that we can spread people out that way and we can spread people out in the prep area there's a separate room and so it's just uh, easier and safer to operate 
and and um, it's it was working out pretty well. It's, like she said, it, it's a new business starting mm -hmm. up and it, you have standing it up with new procedures, new attitudes, and half of our employees are our managers. Yeah. And so we really had to go through almost a retraining with them to, to be, you know, in the, in the blue collar zone mm -hmm. and, and make, just make it happen, whatever it took to make it happen. Well, I know that uh, what Billy is hoping you're going to make is a jalapeno margarita with us today, but it's always mixologist <laughs> choice. Well, we are, we are. Yay. <laughs> this have to happen but should i should i start yeah go ahead and i'm gonna take some okay. photos as you go so make sure you hold some stuff up to the uh the camera see that i'm gonna squeeze a couple of limes in here and um i'm just gonna dump them right into the glass and then i'm going to i add... just lost your video so if you could back up and get your video going again that happen? i don't know yeah, let me it could have been me. So hold on. We're just going to pause for a second. Ask to start video. So I've asked to start video. Going back. I think Aldine did it. There you go. All right. No, it wasn't me. I'm pretty sure. I think it was, I think it was me. I was trying to spotlight the video and it did something weird. Okay. So now I got you on a full screen. Go for it. I have my some some limes in here and lime juice. And so I'm going to get my jalapenos. I have my jalapenos. And then add. I don't know. You can do this as much as you want, as spicy as you want. We're going to make them spicy. I think we need the, the Woo! Ooh. You now, need the heat. The muddler. And I'm going to have to stand up for this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to muddle. And I'm going to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, okay, and as soon as I'm happy with that... I can smell it. Can you smell that? We know who makes the drinks in uh, the Red Iguana house. I'm starting All to right. cry. Now, I'm going to grab some ice. Make sure I don't fall off my chair. And I'm just going to use my hands, you guys. Let's add the ice. <laughs> I just want to know what the branded tequila you're going to put in there. You're going to go for the well or the top shelf? Heradura. Heradura Blanco. I like a, I like a silver tequila. So I'm going to do, we're making two cocktails here. And this is the, the white horseshoe? Yes. Yes. Ta -da, era dura. And then to sweeten it up, I'm going to use a little Cointreau. I'm just going to eyeball that. And a little Presidente. I like Presidente. And then one of our secret ingredients that we use at the restaurant is Damiana. Ooh. It's a lovely bottle. And it's a liqueur. And that'll sweeten it up. And then I'm going to add some more lime juice. John, we got to change the laws so we can drive by and pick up one of these. <laughs> we got quite a few questions about that online. I'll prep, I'll prep my glass here so that we have. Okay, you're prepping your glass by rubbing the rim with lime and then. Yes, and then just um, dipping, you know, then just getting a plate of salt and then just salting the, the rim. Voila. And then I'm going to, um, I think this is about ready to roll. I'm going to take my shaker. My question is who gets that, you or Bill? Well, we're, we're going to share now. Here comes the fun part. Okay. <laughs> Lucy's had some practice at this. The more you shake, the better it tastes. Okay. <laughs> is there like a, a stopwatch on that, Lucy? Like 20 seconds of shaking, like 20 seconds of hand washing? I think. I'm, just, uh, I'm just having some fun. I, I, you know, I haven't had this much fun since all of this stuff started. <laughs> Okay. Oh, my. There we go. I want that. Billy Palmer, what do you think? Aldine? Looks delicious. Well, you know what I think about uh, jalapeno margaritas, especially the red iguana ones. They're like, they're right. like crack to me. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if that's the word I'd go for, but yes. Okay. They're yeah. very addictive. Okay. Wait, well, hold it before I, I need a picture of that before. Okay. What is the toast? We've been doing Greek the last okay. couple of days. Yeah. Salud. Amor y pesetas y tiempo para disfrutarlas. Which means? Salud. You need um, health, love, love, and money, and time to enjoy. Ah. Perfect. Very good. Salud. John, what are you toasting Salud. with? Well, I didn't have the luxury of being with Lucy and Bill, so I got a Zalupes. 
uh, Ogden Brewer that's making a st- Spanish style beer, Mexican yeah. style beer. Yes. I don't know if you guys sell it, but it's from Zulupes up in Ogden. Yeah. And I haven't opened it yet. I'll bring it over. <laughs> now, now, John, um, I, we've been raising a glass to uh, c- quite a few things from John Prine to healthcare workers to um, essential workers. But the Zephyr has been our underlying theme. Ramon Cardenas, the late Ramon Cardenas, a big fan of live music. In fact, that's one of the favorite things about going to Red Iguana. One is all the bands on the walls that have been there over the ages and have, have signed posters and things. So, so John, you get to toast the Zephyr. Well, this, this would be a simple toast to the Zephyr, of course. Um, mm-hmm. And Ramon sitting there. I remember a time I was wearing a New York Yankee uh, jacket and he insisted on buying it off my back. He was a, he was also a big New York Yankee fan. And, um, to Ramon, the Cardenas family, the Zephyr, Red Iguana, everybody that's, that's hurting and shut down right now. Let's get us back open health first, but you know what? We, we can't let us all die either. And people like, look at the smilers and that, that big margarita. God bless you guys. So toast. And Billy, I'm pretty sure scavenged some things out of the rubble that uh, might be showing up on people's doorsteps over the uh, summer. That might have happened. That might have it's happened. Gonna be a, it's going to be a little bit of time, but uh, I've got I grabbed some stuff because I was thinking about the owners, the employees, uh, Gil at the front door, and Sam as well, and D at the at the register. All those folks that still to this day, um, you know, coming into the, going to, into the Zephyr from the front door was always uh, an exciting thing because uh, you were always about to see something, maybe a band you didn't even know, but uh, really appreciate that. And that's actually where I met um, Ramon Cardenas as well. I think that's where a lot of people met (laughs) Ramon Cardenas. (laughs) And I actually got to know him and had a few drinks with him as well. So really appreciate that. And if you don't mind, Laura, I want to give a toast to the whole Cardenas family and uh, to Lucy and Bill uh, because they've been such a huge supporter of our communities and, because they have one of the best restaurants, one of the best Mexican restaurants in the entire country. So Huge supporters here's of to the Cardenas family. Thank you. Salud. And, and their maintenance guy, Bill Cooker. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys. It was wonderful to see you laugh and hear you laugh, Lucy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Something you. I'll always treasure. This is so touching. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. And I just hope everybody is safe and we can get, I don't know what the new normal is going to be, but we're going to be here and we're going to, we're going to persevere and we're going to be different people. And we're going to, it's just, what a crazy, crazy time. Yep. And back back to curbside at Red Iguana too, hopefully the week of April 20th. What's the website or social media where people can catch up and get the latest news? Rediguana.com. Thank and you also so our much. Facebook pages for the restaurant, Red, Red, Iguana, Red Iguana and Red Iguana 2. Our best to everybody, and we hope that your employee and his family are doing better and are back to good health. Absolutely. Thank Great. you. Thank you so Thank much, guys. You. As uh, the Red Iguana folks are ringing off, we're bringing in our music. We try and always include some home road trip once it all opens up again. 